All right, now, welcome back, West Texas. Happy Thursday. Let's go ahead and get into the latest sports news. Now, first, we have to talk about the Angelo State basketball teams who took on a Lubbock Christian. But, hey, right now, specifically, I'm talking about the Bells, okay? Because tonight they ended Lubbock Christian's historic home winning streak at 113 games by pulling off a 60-57 to victory. How about those Bells? They are now 19-3 overall overall and 14 and 2 in the conference play. And now over to the Rams who came also close to winning, but the final score of that game was 67 to 66. The Rams now sit at 18 and 4 overall and 14 and 2 in conference play. Now both central basketball both central basketball teams took on Midland Legacy. Let's take a look at the first half of the girls game. All right. Lady Bobcats ball and Jules Perez goes up strong in the paint and gets the and one. It's now Rebels ball and they take it down court. Great ball movement here in a pass to an open target. That's Johnson knocking down the wide open three. But hey, Bobcats turn up the speed. Hearn would go down court, lay that ball up and in. So Rebels will now get that ball again. And a missed shot here, but Solis comes up and puts that ball back up, and it's good. However, on these next two plays, watch this, West Texas. Ooh, it's rain and threes. Hey, that's Sydney Moore right there. And watch on the next play. Boom, she gets another one. Now the Lady Bobcats would lead 20 to 14 at the half. In other news, tomorrow the Angelo State softball teams will begin their season at the Division II Spring Invitational. Now the Rambells will play in six games over the next three days. Tomorrow they will face Central Oklahoma and Arkansas Tech. Here's head coach Travis Scott speaking about beginning the new season. Experience is always a good thing, you know. Uh, unfortunately, I guess you could say the all the top teams in Lone Star have a lot of experience coming back as well. But uh, we're in good shape, um, you know. Got a lot of key players back. Got your top two pitchers back. Um, top of the lineup kids back. So uh, a lot of things to look forward to going into the season. All right. Also, the baseball team will open their season at home inside Foster Field at First Community Credit Union Stadium facing Eastern New Mexico. Now, the Rams look to make a deep run this year, and head coach Kevin Brooks thinks his team is well prepared to suit up tomorrow. Going in, we feel like our pitching's much improved and, and feel like that'll be a strength of the team. On the, on the opposite end, you know, I think the offense is a question mark. Um, now, obviously, you know, we led the, the country in offense, so can't go up, <laughs> you know, but trying to maintain that. And so I think that's one thing that we just don't know. Uh, I think we can win a lot of games. I don't know if we're really for sure what the formula is yet. Um, and so uh, we'll, we'll hopefully figure that out on the run. <laughs> All right, West Texas. Well, hey, that would do it in sports for now. Of course, I got some more coming for you later in the show. But after the break, more news coming your way.